Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Diddy. Today, talking about Bitcoin and my social media dilemma. Why is the dilemma? Because, you know, my social medias haven't been growing already now for a couple of months. Of course, it is the bear market, and probably a lot of my content is like shadow banned because maybe I talk too openly about stuff that I shouldn't be talking too openly about. Uh, a few days ago, a good old friend of mine told me, Didi, a lot of people stop following you because maybe you sound a little bit too extremistic. Um, I didn't know what to think about that and I do not believe that because I do not have the feeling I'm even talking too extremistic about subjects in this Bitcoin blockchain or life. For me, I'm even breaking myself sometimes to not be too extremistic and talking about the um, reality. And for me, it's not like I talk about it because I want to have followers. I talk about that because I want to deliver a message to people and to help them change their mind on certain subjects. I don't want to force you to change your mind. I just want to show you a different opinion. And probably my opinion is a little bit too different for many people out there and think it's too extremistic. So if it comes, for example, to the banking system, I, I might make videos about the banking system and tell you guys, fuck all the banks, don't use banks, go all in Bitcoin. That is because I really believe that you can live solely on Bitcoin, I've, like I've been proving for the last couple of years. And yes, of course, also we as a family are using some new banks like Crypto.com or Tap, because you know, they give me a debit card that I can use to spend all over the world. But I just try to explain to people that those traditional financial institutions called banks that are not supporting Bitcoin, you do not need to use them. And I'm not saying get rid of them like right away. I'm saying hold your base capital in Bitcoin or any other stable coin in cryptocurrency. And whenever you need to use them in a local way through a bank account, then just exchange that little bit of Bitcoin into dollar or euro on your bank account and just use the bank then to pay your bills, but not store your capital there. Why would you let them play with your capital? Again, if you deposit 100K, they only need to hold around 10K on your bank account. The rest they can use for other things and lend out to other banks. So they are playing with your capital. So why would you have them play with your capital if you know that they are disrupting our normal democracy and normal system that we should have in this world? So that is why I say, keep your main asset in Bitcoin. And whenever you want to use the bank, just use them as a tool but only for those moments that you need to use them until there is a next solution like crypto.com, like TAP, and like many other crypto credit debit cards that you can use to pay for bills and everything else all over the world. And maybe it just sounds too extremistic, extremistic because people just don't understand what the fuck is going on. Because let me get this right. You guys are telling me not to talk too extremistic about that. And you think it's normal that you guys are working your ass off day in, day out, really working hard to be able to provide your family of food and everything else. The food is becoming more and more expensive because of the central banks and the government screening inflation. They make you work more. Because you work more, you pay more taxes. And with those taxes that you pay, they now save those banks that are responsible for creating all that shit show. So you need to step up because they create the shit show and you agree with that because you think that I'm too extremistic if I talk about it like that. So they are saving the banks with your money, while your money could also provide yourself with a better healthcare and other, all other crazy shit that you don't have at the moment, or maybe keeping the products in your life a little bit cheaper because of the inflation and all that stuff. Maybe they should use money to do that, but they're not using it to do that. They are using it again to save banks. So you pay taxes to save the banks. So that's why you're supporting them in a way that you, in my opinion, is just ridiculous. That's like, that, that is like, that, that's extremistic. You're supporting those extremists that are fucking up the world by paying taxes to your government and keeping your money also in that bank. So you pay taxes to keep your money on the bank that is using your money to disrupt the world in an unfair way for many people. Now, that's extremistic. I hope you now understand uh, maybe why I sound some kind of aggressive when I'm talking about those banks now and then. I will try to uh, do it a little bit less. They have more viewers. Uh -uh. We'll never do that. I really don't understand anymore what is going on in this world. Maybe if you zoom out and go walk the beach a little bit more.
maybe I should just quit this whole YouTube and whole social media. Maybe I should just go walk the beach every day for my fun uh, and live off my Bitcoin stack because I did go all into Bitcoin. Because else I'm spending a lot of time in trying to educate people and they are just not listening. They are again falling for that crap that the government and the news is telling them about the banks. So they were the huge criminals that disrupted the whole economy. That is why two or three banks now are going bankrupt. And now the Fed is becoming the savior and this st same story. So they are the responsible ones, but they are also the saviors now. And people are, oh, they are saving us. We should have never depended on them. They didn't need to save us. They don't need to save shit. That's why I love Bitcoin. Bitcoin doesn't need bailouts. That's why you should be in Bitcoin. No bailouts needed. So that is the thought, the part of the banking. Now, the rest, yes, that's why I'm restructuring my videos, guys. I, I think I need to make three short videos. One TA video is for just the people that want to have my opinion about TA and Bitcoin. One blockchain news video for my people that want to know about the blockchain news and all the news in the world that is connected to Bitcoin. And then a TA video about mindset, or lifestyle, how we as a family survived on Bitcoin, what we are doing and how we live our lives. So then we have three subjects and three different videos. So not everyone has to see all the subjects because some people might think I'm a little bit too extreme in certain lifestyle subjects. So I think that will be the solution. I tweeted it this morning so people will give me an answer. And no, no, at this week I will decide how to solve that issue in social media. I don't want to... Um, I don't want to not express my full opinion. I do want to be very honest and really um, talk to you guys about what is on my heart and you know what I'm doing and what I'm believing in because else I don't see the need of social media. And if my people and if my, if my following is not growing because I talk too true about the truth, true truth, <laughs> then they should stop following me. And if people do like that, then they should follow me and tell all their friends and family to follow me for that. Now, that was a short update about my social media dilemma. I will make more of these videos when I walk and talk again, guys. I will leave it to this. I hope you enjoyed this information. If you did enjoy the information, uh, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about this? Do you think I should uh, make three short videos? Do you think that I'm too ex extreme for certain people in this industry? Or do you think... Ah, Didi is the guy that really is talking the talk and walking the walk and really is all in Bitcoin. Let me know down below. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bye.